Hello and welcome to MFM Reaper. In this video we're going to look at how to create, route and control an effects track. This is taken from how I like to route things for a live gig, if I've got enough auxiliaries or sends. And in Reaper it goes like this, import the track template, copy the sends from the send track, paste them to any highlight track in your mix, I've chosen all of them, and now all of them have a send to each effects track of which there are seven. If you're using CSI with the controller, pressing send will assign each one of the faders to the sends on the channel. You could move those with the mouse on the channel on the left there as well. And that's looking at it in the routing window. So in practice you could be mixing away, select a channel, press send, they're the sends for that channel, and blend them into your mix. And just looking at that all happening in the routing window, obviously you can do more than one, which is one of the nice things about using a controller. You can quickly get a blend of things like that. Press send and it returns you back to the mix. Let's set this up. Opposite click in the control panel and select multiple tracks. We're going to make seven. Call them EFX. Press return. It'll number them after that. Any hotkeys or processes you see are already explained in other videos on the channel if you want to check them out. We don't need a, an input to this, not a physical input, and we don't need an output yet either. So we'll remove those, and I'm going to put a chorusy type effect or a stereo widener on channel one. I'm going to have three delays, and I'm going to have three different reverbs. Needless to say, set this up how you like to. Um, I like to have a stereo effect, three types of delay, usually in time an eighth, a quarter, and a half. And I'm just going to rename multiple tracks. That's a useful feature. Just means you press return and come down one after the other. And the reason icons are being set up automatically is auto color, auto icon. That's another video. I'll try and put that in the link below. Often I'll just simply put a room, a plate, and a whole reverb on five, six, and seven. Having an effects track like this means you can send tracks to multiple effects very quickly. The send envelopes are really easy to write with the controller or draw with the mouse. Just a very convenient way of adding a lot of effects to your channels very simply. The track allowed last is the thing that makes this really flexible and easy to use. So the effects copy sends track. I'll quickly look at the auto color auto icon window. That's command control and C. And I'll include the link to that. Very useful. Now at the moment that channel or that track, sorry, is just going to the master send, we'll remove that, and then we'll add sends, we'll send this to all of the tracks there, all of the effects, all seven of them. If I had other tracks in the window, it would send to those as well, this send to all tracks feature. I'll just remove it and show you what I mean. So go to add new send, send to all tracks, that's going to be all visible tracks, so make sure you've only got your effects tracks there when you're doing this, and they're coming in at zero dB. That's a preference you can choose in your settings. I'm not going to bother going into that. I'm just going to show how to save this as a track template so they're set correctly. So three delays and three different reverbs. Make sure that all of the effects that you're sending to, the mix on them is on 100%. So you're not just getting any dry signal from those. Or if you have a, an effect that has an actual direct volume control, make sure the direct's switched off or the volume's down. Now, so you don't have to adjust any preferences, press send on your controller and pull all the faders down, or do that with the mouse on the left-hand side, whichever way you want to do it. Select all the tracks, template, save as track template. I'm saving that as effects rack. I'm going to replace the one that was there. Let's delete all of those tracks and bring in the track template again. Select the last track, effects copy sends, and copy the sends from that. And to test it, make a new track and paste the sends. If you don't know how to assign commands to buttons like this, that's fine. Just go into the action list and assign copy sends and paste sends to some hotkeys. Don't forget at some point you'll need to set the outputs from your effects. I normally go through buses, that's why I don't have them set to the master. And if you make any adjustments to your effects or want to change anything, just do the same. Select all of the tracks. And then save the track template. 
I will do a follow-up video of showing you how the send envelopes are really easy to write and edit with the controller. Anyway, I hope this video has been useful. I hope you have a bit of fun with this. And I'll see you in the next one.